From suicides to homelessness to what's going to happen with the new VA medical center, those are issues that are at the top of mind for black veterans. And they've come here today to find answers and just a little hope. As local black veterans talked over breakfast, the topics of conversation varied at each table, including the need for more jobs. To be able to still survive after the military, because you're on a certain level when you're in the military, then when you get out, if you don't find a good job or a great job, then you're really struggling. While there are enough issues to go around like mental illness and health care, the one common topic among these vets are what's going on in Washington. Quite honestly, they talk about President Trump and how, how uh, fearful they are of what's happening uh, to our reputation overseas uh, uh, and uh, to our military and intelligence services. And then there are some who say what's happening here in Louisville is what's most important. It was too much emphasis dealt on the president. He's doing what he wants to do. I'm more concerned about what we can do here in the city, what we can do in our communities, with the American Legion Post, the VFWs, something that we can give our kids something to strive for. Congressman John Yarmouth says he understands their concerns and won't necessarily have all the answers, but is making a pledge to at least listen. With an upcoming election and many choices in the Democratic primary, these black veterans say they aren't sold on a front runner just yet. At this moment, I don't see one that has addressed those issues, and I think there are two and gross with um, trying to compete against each other. No, only one I favor is Jesus. So that's all I got to say about that. That's all what I put my trust in. And for these black veterans, the upcoming election is very important to them. To end his breakfast here, Congressman John Yarmouth asked the room who's in favor of Medicare for all. Well, less than half of the room raised their hand. In Louisville, Stefan Dingle, WOKY News.